What's up guys? Welcome to LA Fitness and Howl. This is our third gym review. Let's see what this place has to offer. You guys know. Come on, let's get after it. As you walk in, there's the front desk. Boy, my boy over here giving us the thumbs up. As you can see, the cardio section has a fucking arsenal of machines. The cable section, a lot of shit broken. Alright, so this is the main section. You got all the leg machines and squat racks, dumbbell rack. And to the left over here is majority of the machines. Everything's nice and open and spread out. Now this is a rack. All the way down to the left hand side, it starts at 100, works its way up to the middle to 10 pounds, then goes back to 100. There's a lot of high quality cycle machines in here. Looks like it's set up for a class, but you have access to this room at any time. All right, so this is the studio room. We actually came at a perfect time because there's a class going on, but also, like the cycle room, you have access at any time to go in here. Pro Results personal training area, let's take a look inside. This is the nicest room in the entire gym, but unfortunately you need personal training to have access. A boy's shooting some hoops over here. This is a full-size basketball court. This isn't no Olympic-sized pool, but it will do. What's going on guys? I'm here with... How we doing? I'm Mike. What's up Mike? So I'm just going to ask you how long you've been a member here, some, list some pros, some cons, and your overall rating at the gym. Alright, so I'll start with the overall rating. I give this gym a 7.5, 8. This is Howell. I like the brick one a lot better. The layouts, okay. they got the sauna, they got everything you need over there. But a pro of this gym... Big sauna guy. See, the con is that they don't have the sauna. A pro would have been the sauna, but can't find the pro. The, ha the brick one's got a lot of... No lot pros. Better. No pros in this gym. Pretty average on equipment-wise. Uh, there's a lot of good people here. Met a lot of cool guys over the time. I've been here for two and a half years, cool. I'd say. And uh, that's about it, yeah. Awesome. Pretty good overall, I would say. LA Fitness in Howell. LA Fitness Howell. You heard it here first. All right, man. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you, your time. Take it easy, guys. All right. You like chocolate? Yeah, bro, I feel you. We have some fucking chocolate <laughs> so over here. It's spicy, bro. <laughs> You guys know what time it is. It's time to chalk it up. Today, on the agenda, 
LA Fitness and Howell. Yup. Alrighty. It's time to get to right into the review. Yep. Let's start off with pros. For me, I did like this gym. It was very open. Yeah. It wasn't like claustrophobic or anything like that. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like our guy Mike said in the video, um, he's been going there for two years. He couldn't find a pro. Um, yeah. I don't know if I could find one either, to be honest with you. Uh, I mean, the only thing I did like was like they have a basketball court. That was cool. Which yeah. is cool. You can go play basketball at any time. Um, it's good for like pickups, 5v5s. Also, too, which I've never experienced, a gym having an indoor pool. That was pretty cool. I like that. It would have been pretty sweet if it was like more of an Olympic size. But it, yeah, it, it, but it, it'll do. It I was mean, cool yeah. for what they had, yeah. I will say. So, a pro for me was that the entire gym, like the free weight section, yeah. was all open and spread out. So, I, I did like that. And also, too, the rack. The rack. <laughs> the rack. The rack was pretty sweet, I will say. I did like it. I, did, I do wish they went up more than 100 pounds, though. Yes and no, but like at the same time, it starts on the left hand. It's the whole entire wall, number one. Yeah, yeah. The rack is the entire wall of the, the room. And the left hand side starts with 100, yeah. towards the middle, goes to like 10 pounds, then all the way back to 100. Back to 100. If you're on the right hand side of the gym, yeah. you know, you don't have to walk across the entire side of the gym to get 100 pounds. You know what? He persuaded me. <laughs> that's, that's definitely a pro. You know what's also sweet? I liked the personal training area. That room was pretty sweet. Yeah. I wish you were able to go in though. You know, I get it, it's for personal training, whatever. Mm -hmm. But that is the most pristine room in the whole gym. Yeah, they had like top of the line equipment. Yeah, the did. lighting was really cool. Yeah. Yeah, dude, that, that personal training area is pretty yeah. What a shame you can't go in. Also too, the studio. Then in the video, oh, yeah, we had yeah. a, there was a class going on, but you have access to it at any time. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. I like that too. All right, as you guys know, I wasn't a huge fan of this gym. I have a decent amount of cons to list. Um, first off, the gym was pretty dirty, dude. Yeah, like, there was like water bottles and like, paper towels all over the floor, like hair and stuff. Like it hasn't like the maintenance. Yeah, they they didn't really clean the gym too well. Yeah. A lot of shit was broken, like the cables. There's missing bars and shit like you were like you said. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, there was a lot of equipment in the free weight section, but you know, you see a bench, multiple benches, and there's just bars missing, and they don't have any extra like attachments yeah. by the cable section. You have to go hunting. I know for the attachments. Yeah, and when the shit's broken, like they don't even have a sign on the machine saying like, yeah. oh, under maintenance or whatever. So we're trying to do a cable. And we're trying to pull it down. Like, what the fuck's going on? Like, yeah, it's broken. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Also, too, like it, during your interview with Mike. Yeah. This gym is lacking in the sauna department. Yeah, it is. No sauna. <laughs> no sauna whatsoever. I mean, the other locations we haven't been to, but like Mike said, I guess they do have saunas there. All right, guys. So it's time for my overall review here. Um. Well, considering, I you know it was dirty and. You know, I didn't really like the gym too much, honestly. Um, I mean, the, the anemones in the gym, like the basketball court, the pool, mm -hmm. the personal training area, yeah. definitely boosted it up for me. But overall, I'm gonna give this gym a C minus. It wasn't a huge fan. It's good, it's, it's an average gym, pretty average. All right, so for me, overall, like you said, yeah. the gym was very dirty. The maintenance department is slacking. <laughs> I'll yeah. tell you that. Definitely. Stuff was broken, you know, you had to go hunting for certain um, grips and everything. Bars are missing. I mean, this is Slimy. like, yeah, this is standard stuff that a gym should provide. I mean, yeah. you are paying for a membership. Um, I did like that it was all like spread out, all open. Mm -hmm. But overall, I mean, I give it a C. But also too, I did like the dumbbell rack. I liked how, you know, one side, it had the same weight as the other side. So you didn't have to walk across the entire gym. Yeah. It was just more convenient for people who are there. Um, all, yeah, it was like, overall, it was just an average gym. Nothing really special. All right, guys, that's the review. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and comment which gym you guys want to see us go to next.